Hey guys, this is Daps Nishmel, and in today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to use editable content in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16. So editable content happens to be a tool that allows you to add a section within your website that you can actually edit on the go. Now the cool thing about this tool is that you don't need or require a database to be able to do so. To be able to have this um, implemented, you need to have um, two pages or two sections. Um, one section is going to be for your editable content and then one aspect is going to be for your admin section. So as you can see, this tool is actually part of the content management set of tools in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead to create two pages. Let me just clone this page and then call my second page admin. Now on the index page, I'm going to come to my um, CMS set of tools and then click on editable content. And then I'm going to draw in here. So that is what I want to have in here. And then I'll come to the admin page, click on editable content admin, and then I'll draw that in here as well. Now, when you come back to the edit, um, the index page where you have the editable content, if you want to make changes to this particular tool in terms of the styles and the rest, once you double click on this, you realize you can't go to the properties of it. So you just simply right click on it and then come to object properties. Now this is where you have the chance of configuring or changing how you want it to um, show, being it the font size, the styles, and so on. So this is where you go ahead to do that. And once you are satisfied with all your settings, you come to the admin section and then you can actually implement same over here. So you have um, alternate row, you have um, background color, you have um, you know all these properties or options available in here, which you can actually use to configure your editable content admin section. So I'm actually not going to change anything over here. I'm going to leave this as it is. And then I'm going to go ahead to publish this to my local host server. So like I said, this doesn't require any database. So I'm just going to um, publish this. So I have my local host um, path specified. So I have it published here. Let me come to my browser and then let me search for it. So this is going to be localhost editable. Um, so editable. So this is the index section, which is showing me this. It says this is an editable area of a website. Now to be able to get to the admin section and then change that, let me just go to localhost editable and then admin.html. Now you realize that I'm using an HTML file extension over here. The reason is because with editable content, you don't require or it's not really necessary for you to use PHP since um, it's actually um, done on the go. It doesn't require any database. There's no need for PHP. So I'm going to go ahead to log in. Um, actually, I have my password or credential saved in the browser. That's how come I'm logged in. So I'm going to go ahead to create, um, create a page, um, a section. So this is actually on the index page. So it's already created. Let me just go ahead and then edit this. So instead of having just this, let me just say, um, this is a section on my website, which I want to edit on the go. So that's what I want to have in here. I'll go ahead and hit on save. And then once I come back here, once I refresh the page, realize I have this in here. Now you notice one thing about the edit tables, um, admin section, you realize that this is all you have in terms of um, the way you, um, what option you selected for the editable area. So once you come here, you realize that we have the editor type. So this is where you get to specify what kind of editor you want to use. In case you want to use WW editor, you go ahead to specify that. We upload this again and come back to the admin section, refresh and you realize that you have a lot more options. So based on what you want, or how you want to go about your editable content or editable section within your website will determine what tools or options you should use. So that is basically just about it for this tutorial. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So my name is Dabs Nishmo. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.